Good morning, class. Uh, so today, I'm going to be discussing my cell side report. And my cell side report, I did mine on the um, adult beverage industry. Um, and the company that I will be focusing on today is Constellation Brands. So Constellation Brands, together with its subsidiaries, produces and imports and markets beer, wine, and spirits in the United States, Canada, Mexico, New Zealand, and Italy. It is the current leader international, leading international producer of premium wine, and their beer portfolio includes Ballast and Funky Buddha. Uh, it's very diver diversified as company, providing beverages under over 100 brands, including Corona. Um, STZ believes that industry leadership involves commitment to brand building, trade partners and environment and consumers. Uh, so Constellation was compared to three other companies within this industry, um, including Craft Brew Alliance, um, Boston Beer Co., and Molson Coors Brewing Co. So there's several upsides to the company's historical data um, as it stands, as well as some pitfalls in recent years. Um, so over the past year, STZ has been kind of bearish with stock prices steadily declining since April. Um, right now they're trading below the 50-day average, um, but their volume has increased, which suggests that some sellers are selling what others are buying. Um, and right now, um, SDZ has seen a lower P.E. ratio than it has in years past at 20.77, uh, which could signal that investors aren't particularly confident in the company's growth potential. Um, but his, again, like I said, historical data has proven that um, even though there's been some decline uh, as it is right now, they have historically, you know, steadily increased their growth. Uh, slow, but steady. So, um, in the last 12 months, their price to book has been higher than it has in recent years, um, which could signal overvaluation. Um, the stock price right now is uh, about $191. But the book value per share for the company is 59.49. Um, Constellation also has a, a low beta, um, which means that it's less volatile than the market. Um, and this is evidenced by their steady sales growth in years prior, um, which uh, just goes to show you that, you know, regardless of what's going on in the market, people are going to buy their alcohol. <laughs> So in terms of liquidity, um, I think all four of the companies within the industries have high current ratios. Um, however, uh, if you look, SDZ has a lower quick ratio than the other companies. So their quick ratio right now is 0.45, um, which means that most of their liquidity is... Um, tied up in inventory so um, you know normally that's not something you want but um, because it's a beer company obviously most of their assets is going to be in alcohol that they have to store um, so that could present a problem in the event that the company needs fast cash um, but I think overall um, the company has seen um, it's, it's seen some steady growth again, and, um, there's some, some growth potential, uh, because the company recently invested $400 billion in, um, Canopy Growth Stock, um, and Canopy Growth Stock is, uh, a cannabis company, so, um, they are, I guess, expecting to maybe possibly branch out into, the cannabis business um, as soon as that becomes legalized in more places um, as it's been doing in, in recent years. So um, 
I think overall the even though um, you know there's some issues going on here I think that historical data um, would show you that investors looking to purchase you know should pr maybe hold off on purchasing while current stockholders um, I would say hesitate before selling there are some efficiency issues that need to be addressed um, that hinder profit margins you know um, clearly they are not uh, using um, their you know assets to the best of their abilities they are holding a little bit too much inventory um, so I would probably cut that back because it's a little bit lower than their quick ratio is a little bit lower than the average of the industry um, and their asset turnover is uh, fairly high or or I'm sorry fairly low their asset turnover is only three uh, point three nine um, which is if you look at um, like things like their counterpart um, I think this is uh, Boston beer so their asset turnover is going to be 1.53 um, which is you know relatively high which signals that they're efficiently using their assets they're using their efficient uh, their assets efficiently and their quick ratio is a little bit higher at um, 0.96 so um, that's definitely something that they're gonna want to work towards um, maybe getting up you know more efficient uses of their assets uh, here, yeah, they, they also, um, Craft Beer Alliance also has a uh, higher uh, asset turnover. It's over one, which, again, signals that they are using their assets fairly well. Um, and, okay, so here, um, so... Molson Coors is also not using their assets to the best of their ability. Um, so, you know, it's... Uh, Constellation, you know, may not be using theirs to the best of their ability, but they're certainly not doing the worst. Um, so, I think that's something that they're going to want to work towards. They're not doing the worst in the industry as, as far as um, efficiency, but... They, oh, and they also, so Molson Coors also has um, uh, high financial leverage, which is not something that they particularly want. Um, and so here, Kraft also has pretty high financial leverage, but they have um, higher current assets to uh, kind of, balance that out, whereas Molson Coors kind of, theirs is uh, significantly lower, so that's definitely not something that they're going to be wanting to do, um, but overall, I think uh, there's, again, I said, like, there's some asset um, efficiency issues that need to be worked through. Um, they are going to want to work on their, their uh, financial leverage, and um, obviously their uh, quick ratios so um, I do think that like I said investors should hold off if you're planning to buy um, and if you already have it I would he hesitate uh, just to kind of see where the company's going um, because some some changes have been taking place so um, that could be something that is causing like a drop in the um, the stock price and the sales growth um, but again in years past they've seen fairly steady growth um, so I would hesitate this has been a relatively stable um, stock and they're highly diversified so before selling I would definitely pause um, to kind of take a look at what's going on in the markets thank you